Is polio coming back? In 2023, doctors in New York faced something they never expected to see in their careers, a paralyzed patient with polio. A disease officially eliminated from the US since 1979 had returned, and wastewater testing revealed it wasn't just one case. The virus was silently spreading through five New York counties with 89 positive samples detected. Meanwhile, in January 2025, Texas experienced its worst measles outbreak in decades. Nearly 500 infections spread across Texas and into four neighboring regions, claiming three lives, two of them children. Every single fatality was unvaccinated. How does a defeated disease come roaring back? The answer is troublingly simple, falling vaccination rates. Polio is particularly dangerous because it's a silent spreader that can remain in the environment for months. About 70% of people infected with polio don't show any symptoms. Some show flu-like symptoms, about 5% develop meningitis, and only 1 in 200 to 2,000 develops permanent paralysis. By the time a paralytic case develops, there may already be over 1,000 people infected. These outbreaks aren't accidents or bad luck. They're the predictable consequences of declining vaccination rates. The solution? The same one that worked in the first place. Vaccinations.